Hello, I am Molly from the Innovation Studio and this tutorial will provide an overview of the folder view format available to you in Moodle 2. Folder view is a great option for reducing the amount of content on the front page of your course. It compresses your content into topic folders that can be expanded to view the full content. It is also accessible for those participants who use screen readers. To begin, turn editing on by selecting the button in the top right corner of your course screen. In the settings block, which is by default located in the left column, choose Edit Settings. Just below the course summary, select a course format from the Format drop-down menu. We'll choose Folder View Format. Scroll to the bottom and click Save Changes. In Folder View, topics are listed in sections that are represented by folders. The top section of your main page is the exception, as it is meant to provide space for your course title, instructor information, and any general course information you want available to your students. When you click on a folder icon, it expands that topic to show all the content. Click the folder again to collapse the contents. If you click on the folder name, it will also show you the contents of the folder and reduce your view to only that specific folder. In this view, you may choose to add a resource, add a block, or change the settings of that particular folder. If you select Add Resource, you are provided a list of all the resources and activities available. You can close this tab by clicking the red X in the upper right corner of the Add Resource box. To return to the main course page with all folders visible, select the Two Folder icon on the top right of your topic page or select the Topic List link at the bottom right of the topic page. You can also expand and collapse all folders on the main course page by using the Addition and subtraction collapse buttons at the top right of your main screen. To edit or add content to a topic folder on the main course page, use the tools on the right side of the topic section. The first tool is a green plus sign, which is used to add a resource or activity to a particular folder. The pencil icon will allow you to edit the name of the given folder and add any additional text or images. There are also restrict access settings within this edit feature to allow you to set access dates and conditions for the topic folder. The light bulb icon to the right of the topic section will highlight that topic folder as a focus for the given week or lesson. The small blue box icon will show the folder on a page by itself, just like when you select the folder title. Each topic folder section also has an eye icon on the right side which will hide the folder when the eye is closed, making it not visible to students. Another nice feature is the ability to add files to your folders by dragging them directly from your computer onto a folder on your main page. Folders can be rearranged by grabbing the arrow button on the left side of a folder and dragging it to the desired location. Transitioning from the usual topics layout to folder view is just a matter of selecting the format in your course settings. So when you are considering layout options for your course and want to reduce the amount of scrolling on the front page of your course, you might find the new folder view format an excellent choice. 